Back in the day, in fact way back in the day, in about 600 BC, a cool Greek philosopher called Thales observed that something strange happened when he rubbed fossilised tree resin, called amber, with fur. It built up a kind of charged energy that could spark when touched, and it could also create forces with other things that were rubbed too. The Greek word for amber is electron, so he called this mysterious charged stuff electricity. These days creating electric charges is a lot easier, like when you shoot down a plastic slide at Macca's, or when you rub a plastic ruler with a nylon cloth. Have you noticed that the force between electric charges can be either attractive or repulsive? This is different to gravity, which is always attractive and points towards Earth. In the example of the charged hair, it's as though each hair is trying to get away from all of the others. So this is an example of repulsive electric forces. If you place a charged ruler near a small piece of paper, it seems to make it dance, or jump up and cling to the ruler. So this is an example of attractive electric forces. You can even see an attractive force if you carefully bring a charged ruler close to a thin stream of water. See how the stream bends towards the ruler? It's attracted. Wow! And notice how the degree of bending increases as you bring the charged ruler closer. This means that the electric force gets stronger as the distance between the charged ruler and the water gets smaller. Scientists call this an inverse relationship because as separation distance decreases, the bending increases. One goes up while the other goes down. An inverse relationship is a kind of upside down one. There are lots of relationships in nature, that is, lots of things that can change depending on other things. For example, you get taller as you get older. This is called a direct relationship because as your age increases, your height does too. Can you think of any other relationships? The relationship between electric force and separation distance is one of nature's most important. So what makes an electric force attractive or repulsive? A few thousand years after Thales, scientists worked out that there are two kinds of electric charge, and they called them positive and negative. Why? Why not call them X and Y, or alpha and beta? Scientists found that if they joined a positive and a negative charge, they cancelled each other out to zero charge. This reminded them how, in mathematics, positive 1 and negative 1 combine to cancel out to 0 as well. If it's good enough for maths, it's good enough for science. This cancelling property of charges is why they call them positive and negative. Doing more experiments, scientists discovered some simple rules. When we place opposite charges together, that is a positive with a negative, they attract each other. Placing two like charges together, that is two positives together or two negatives together, created a repulsive electric force between them. Like the hair standing on end situation. We now know why the hair strands repel each other. They carry the same charge. In summary, we can say that unlike charges attract and like charges repel. Can you remember this? It's one of the universe's most important laws. It tells us how the universe is held together. 
It also explains a lot about how atoms work.